So this is a very um, short tutorial. I just wanted to show you how you can modify this object infos here. So you can see there are already some names in there with default values and I'm going to show you how you can modify them but also how you can add your owns in there. So let's quickly do this. I select the component here and it has the component window object. In there is, are all the informations that are responsible for the for this window object. And here you can set the actual stats you want to show. So for example, you want to show the color, you want to show the brand, things like this. And if you scroll down, here you can define the actual name. So if I change the name of the brand to something like Unreal Engine 4, and I open the window up now, you can see that it has changed. So now there's this UE4. And if you want to change the names here, we have to change the actual enum. So a good way to find this, let's open this here up and let's edit it. And here you can see that it's switching on this enum stats field. So this is the one we actually wanna change. So let's search for it. So we wanna change the stats field here the enum window stats field let's open it up and here you can see we have all the default um, names in there we can change this for example uh, flower and hit save and now if i play you can see now it says flower in there so this way you can change the default names there and the values but you can also go in there and add your own one. So let's create a new one. Let's name it car and hit save. And now if I go back to my window object, you can see this car just appeared here. Let's make some space here. And we want to copy this return node and hook it up here. And now we can just write something in there or we can also create a variable out of this. Name it car brand and put it into the stats field. And I set this variable to exposed also give it a maybe a default name once again you can see i can now add my field here so it's here in this car and here under the stats i can add my very own car brand so for example let's add tesla there and hit play So at the bottom, there's this car tag and you can read the value Tesla. There are other things in there, for example, the size bound, the position, the rotation. And this is the actual, for example, rotation of the mesh here. So that's the reason there are no stats for this, because it really, if we have a look, for the rotation, so this one here, you can see it gets the owner. It looks for the actual rotation and then it feeds this information into the actual text input here. So it's, that's the reason there is no variable for this because it's really the actual rotation or the scale or the, the location of the actor it is assigned to. So I hope this gives you some
clearance about how to use this. And if you have any more questions, just let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching.